Ladies and gentlemen, let's get, let's, let's get the real McCoy on. Top trickster, it's Paul Zenon! <laughs> Oh, how are you doing? Now you're famous all over the world now, Paul. Oh, I mean, it doesn't yeah. stop for you, does it? And Croydon. Mate? Yeah, and Croydon. Yeah. That's, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Get the home territory right. <laughs> Lovely to see you. You well? You too. Yeah, very well. Yeah, yeah. just have a busy time at the moment, just doing mm. some tours. So, uh, yeah. And what you, what's food like on the tour? Do you tend yeah, to kind of quickies all the time? Quick yeah, it's all kind of like late night stuff, you know. Yeah. So the problem is you end up eating really kind of like unhealthy yeah. junk food, spicy food, you yeah. know. But there's, there's never a point where you kind of come out of a, uh, a club at two in the morning and think, I fancy a salad. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. You so want, you want uh, some nice greasy stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, have, so and hence the complexion. Yeah, well, you've got the perfect uh -huh. man to cook your meal, so you need to have a look at your goodies. Oh, okay, so, great. Tip them out. Just right. give it a good old shake, all that yeah. it. What we've got. Yeah. Oh, what we've got. Isn't that your fancy mm. salmon, then, is it? Mm. Yeah, cool. well, what I've got was I've got yeah. some salmon. I'm, I'm kind of, I don't eat a lot of meat or fish. I'm kind of a reluctant, would like to be vegetarian, but mm -hmm. just because of the lifestyle, I don't, you know, I'm just a bit lazy. I'd be a bit similar, actually. So, like, yeah. I'd be a bit similar. So, we've got salmon as the main thing. Uh, spring onions and chilies. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of chilies. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's because I used to work as a fire eater years ago. And I yeah. kind of, it's not because I like hot things, but yeah. I burnt my taste buds off. Yeah, yeah, of course. You just so, get used uh, to it. Yeah? So, yeah, I always eat chilies, eat a lot mm -hmm. of kind of Mexican Thai type mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, potato, obviously. Um, rocket, uh, wild rocket, mm -hmm. which which I didn't know what that was till I was 32. Yeah. It used to be called lettuce or something, so really. Yeah. So like a stray And you've got some rather nice asparagus, spring onions and stuff. Yeah. How much did you spend on all that? Well, basically, I, was, I, I thought I, cho I chose all these and it came to about sort of four quid, uh, well, about £3.70. And I thought, oh, we'll, have a, little, we'll have a little bit of an expensive uh, yeah. add on. Why that, not? You know? Why so, not? Uh, I think it's a lovely bag. Do you like that? That's yeah. a nice bag, yeah. They're, uh, yeah. they're genetically modified to my as well, look. Uh, <laughs> a bit more characters. <laughs> I told you, it's not going to stop all through the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, oh, sorry, how much did you spend again? I forgot. Uh, £4.90, I think. £4.90p, yeah. lovely. Now, we're about to uh, meet a friend of yours, someone, mm. same business. That's right, where yeah. Where you're more of a trickster, he's more close hand. He does things yeah, very close Yeah, he's just kind of close up magic. We work together a lot doing kind of corporate circuit where yeah. he does the tables out of the stand up bed, whatever, yeah. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Yorkshire, Alistair Cook. <laughs> Dude, thank you. Yeah. Right, yeah. Hello. Oh, so, nice yeah, me, Tony. So, is it cooked by name, cooked by nature, then? Uh, regrettably not, I'm no. afraid. No. Oh. Uh, too busy learning car tricks, but I, I do like to do a little bit, you yeah. know. Well, just sort of stir fries and things like that. Well, let's have a look what we've got in here, right. then. Give it a bit of a shake for us. Da, 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 da. Oh, a oh, couple of walnuts there. Very nice. Talk to us about this then, Lot. Uh, what have we got here then? All right, well, I really like beef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not that much of a vegetarian. And uh, <laughs> I pretty much live off rice. Yeah. And as I say, just really quick and easy food. Uh, I just make stir fries all the time. Mm -hmm. Just because, similar to Paul, I'm traveling around a lot. No, sure. You know, and I get in late, and when I do. And it's I so just, easy and simple, isn't it? That's it. it. And yeah. do you throw in the things like peppers, onions, and these lovely shiitake, shiitake mushrooms? Does that all go into the stir fry? Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I mean, I don't really have any sort of particular recipes. I just sort of go for it and. So many of us do. It's the best yeah. way to eat. Walnuts and, of course, the old spinach. How much did you spend on that, Alistair? I, I think it was about eight pounds. Eight pounds. Yeah. Maybe eight quid. Where do you get eight quid from? You can only spend a fiver. <laughs> I was going to say you were robbed. <laughs> 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 All right, let's, let's say four pound ninety. Well done. Well, it's a lovely bag. We have a think. All right. I was thinking about it. This was twelve quid. <laughs> this was twelve quid. <laughs> what are we going to do over here then? Uh, two different salmon dishes. Mm -hmm. we cut it in half. Pretend there's more there. <laughs> and we're going. Maybe you can make it bigger, can you? <laughs> <laughs> what time's this gone? With, with a potato and a scallion and, and asparagus risotto, and then the other one we're going to do with a tomato and chili butter, and then we'll do some sort of salad with it. Risotto? Oh, look, rice, look. There's rice inside. See, when you open that up, there'll be rice inside, don't worry. <laughs> I think you overestimate my powers. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has, mate. <laughs> make him disappear. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Now, uh, you've got risotto over there, so you're going to do mashed potatoes over here, aren't you, Tony? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. We're going to we're going to cut the steak that way. Mm -hmm. One, we're going to do uh, an old kind of classic steak, Diane, with uh, onions and mushrooms and mm -hmm. cream and... We've got some white wine, no brandy. Um, and then the other half of the steak, we'll, we'll spice it up and we'll do some sort of stir fry because you like stir fries, mix in the rice, maybe cook mm. some eggs and chop them up and who knows. And I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do with those walnuts. Really? They're really, yeah. Uh... I know. Bit of a difficult one then. OK, well, you have a think about it. I'm sure you're going to come up with something in a moment. Happy? Sounds uh -huh. good, sounds yeah. delicious. OK, well, let's get our chef started then, ladies and gentlemen. They have 20 minutes to entertain these gentlemen when I say ready, steady, cook. 
All right, now let's get going. There you go. There we are, boards galore. Everyone's got their own boards and stuff like that. First things first. Mm. Lovely. He's on the wine already. I know, he's not messing about. Uh, have you never seen me make potato risotto before, Ainsley? Ah, potato risotto. Can well. I have a glass of wine, Paul? Oh, sorry, I forgot about yeah. that. I just, uh, he's just forgetting you, isn't he? Already? I was thinking I was getting home at three in the morning and just going, you know, doing my own thing. <laughs> is that what it's like, is it? There we go. Yeah. Would you just trim the bottoms of those and give those a wee rinse Absolutely, for me? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, mm. top man. Fantastic. Man. Potato risotto ain't Yeah, it. what's the secret here? The secret is to cut your potato yeah. to the size of rice grains. Yeah. Keep the skin on, doesn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. So and it's it's sort of a pun on the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, you I know. can understand that. So it's quite unusual. And as you cook it, you know how when you cook rice risotto, mm -hmm. the, the grains, the, it, it's a sort of round grain of rice. And as they're sort of all rubbing together, yeah. it knocks the edges off and it gets yeah. sort of a little bit thick and creamy. Well, the thing about potato is because potato cooks yeah. um, and then goes a little bit mushy, yeah. you kind of get a similar effect. Very similar effect. Yeah. So, and Hold we've on. got the spring onions as our base and then we'll <laughs> add some stock and then some cooked asparagus in at the end. It'd be lovely. I'm looking forward to seeing that. You all right down there, Paul? Yeah, I'm, I'm right. fine. Do you want right. these chopping up? Do you want them small, hey. big? Oh, I didn't yeah, say top yeah, I'll show you. I didn't right. say top right. Paul right. will get you going. All right, then. Oh, look at this. But you, you gonna, oh, you've got a little bit of a trick for us, have you? Yeah. I'll Let's get the show started off the right way, eh, ladies uh, and gentlemen? OK. okay. What's Let's the first see. one, then? Uh, any, I need a note or a... Oh, here. Yeah. Put one down here. Okay. Would you just hold that for me? All right, then. So I'll put it on my palm, my hand like That's that. That's great. OK, okay. sorry about this tone. That's no, all right. Can you do it a yeah. bit further okay. away? OK, and yeah. uh, can you see the note here? Yeah, I can see that £20 note, yeah. yeah. OK, I'm just going to wrap it into a little cone. Mm -hmm. This way. OK, you see nothing in the hands. Yeah, nothing Watch. at all. There you are. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very pretty move. Fish soup. <laughs> <laughs> Fish soup. <laughs> He's going to turn it into soup. Oh, we've got to give him a little bit of just something. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> now, Toe, what are you doing with your little... I've got a clue now. <laughs> Brilliant, though, wasn't it? I don't it know was where that came from. Fantastic. So, um, peeled onion, we need to chop that. Yeah. I'm going to do a steak Diane, OK? Mm -hmm. So it's very quickly flash-fried. Uh, in the old days, they used to do this in the restaurant in front of you. Yeah. You know, the, the waiter would come out, come out with this right, trolley. Yeah. So a bit of the brandy, brandy and everything, yeah, yeah. onions. Well, and I haven't got any yeah. brandy, but we'll chopped onions and we'll slice up these lovely shiitake mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us about shiitake mushrooms. Obviously, I know, but just to the, give an idea of the flavour, because people see them in the shop and they still go and buy their normal sort of champignon or their... Yeah, these are really strong, meaty mm. flavour. Mm -hmm. Beautiful mushrooms. Quite um, a nutty flavour, too. Yep. Nutty, meaty flavour. And they hold up quite well. They, they don't do. kind of shrink down like no, you... No, and, and you can get them dried and they mm. reconstitute brilliantly. Mm. That's mm -hmm. how the, uh, the Chinese use them. Mm -hmm. um, dried, and you just soak them in a bit of water and they just yeah. come, back to, uh, come back to life. Beautiful. Um, but they've got a great yeah. flavour, which is going to complement our beef beautifully. And um, you'd normally go for shiitake mushrooms in Alistair, or do, do you just pick out whatever's on the shelf or whatever's just in your whatever's on the whatever yeah. I can find, you know. Yeah. But I just really like them, so whenever I get the chance, sure. you know, I go for it. Sure. And that, this is this is absolutely typical of people in the business. When you come home late at night, you just want things that you can just sort of throw together quite quickly. Oh yeah. It's a, a way a lot of this eat now, isn't it? Really, yeah, it's really it's, nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sauteed off with mm. a bit of goldfish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goldfish shiitake. <laughs> yeah, what you'd like. I'm, just gonna, that. I'm gonna find out about Brandon the, uh, yeah. what's his name down here, the risotto, potato nice. risotto. I'll be back. Okay, four minutes gone. Four minutes, guys. A little bit of a... a little bit of stock. stock. Yeah. Making that up. We're starting the base for the tomato mm -hmm. uh, chilli butter. Mm -hmm. um, we're starting that also with a little bit of onion, because yeah. you need that as, as the base for this yeah. sort of thing. Now, the bigger pot here is where the potatoes will go in. Right. And how long does this take? Do you need to stir it like you would a risotto? Yeah, well, quite, a, quite a lot, but not yeah. too, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's probably, mm -hmm. it's probably easier to cook than a, than a true risotto. OK. So... OK, that was very impressed down there, wasn't it? That yeah. was very, very impressed. Oh, it's good, yeah. no, I'd love to know how to do something like that. You know, it's just kind of really That's... easy stuff, isn't it? Well, should we show you how to do a trick? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. yeah, come on in, come on in. Uh, yeah, I don't mind, a bit of magic. Okay. Very good indeed. Have to wait for the cook in there, Chef. Right, have a look at yeah. that. Chilies are ready. Do yeah. you want them? Okay, well, don't make them disappear, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah. Have a look at this. We're going to teach you yeah. how to do this trick. Mm -hmm. Bit of kitchen roll yeah. goes in there, and it's dead simple, this. Right, you go, mm -hmm. whoop, and it changes into an egg. Now, obviously, it's not. Um, now that the applause has died down again. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, fantastic. <laughs> 
<laughs> but this, as you could see from yeah. it, it's not a real egg. It's a plastic yeah. egg like yeah. you sell in, in joke shops for yeah. playing tricks on chickens. Mm -hmm. And what you do, <laughs> you cut a hole in the egg, and that's where it goes. So I'm going to get you to have a go. I've got another okay. one here. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. so take your bit of kitchen towel yeah. off there. Yeah. I've, got, uh, I've got my other plastic egg here. Come on, yeah. in. What I'm going to do yeah. is hold it like that, like I'm doing in your right hand. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. OK, yeah. do it the other way around, be yeah. awkward. Push yeah. it in, Yeah. but as it goes in, you really push it into the hole. Oh, yeah. you've got all the gestures. Oh, yeah. The lovely Debbie McGee. <laughs> 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 so you push that in. <laughs> <laughs> You're really starting to scare me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. All right, then all of that goes. Then you there. make your magical gestures. Yeah. And it changes into an egg. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Obviously, keep the hole to the back. Yeah. Right. If they do see the hole, yeah. what you can do, have a look at this. You can peel the hole off the egg like that. And then all you do is take a bowl <laughs> and crack it in like that. Clever boy. That's fantastic. And there's more. And there's more. <laughs> That's lovely. That's yours, isn't it? This is my favourite one. You see the, the egg there like that. You take it, put it in the end, you throw it away and you go behind the air and it comes back like that. That's not too bad, is it? <laughs> <You're amazing. laughs> I'm learning all the time. Fantastic. There's all my notes and everything down here. I'm dropping oh, everything sorry. all over the place. Oh, don't worry about it. How's it going, Paul? Pretty good. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Just dividing up the salmon. Now, this one I'm going to take mm -hmm. the skin off. Uh huh. And the other one I'm going to take the, uh, leave the skin on. And why are you doing that then? Is it just a uh, presentation or...? Just feel like it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up in the morning, just fancy doing it that way. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, right. No, um, this one I'm going to put the tip potato crust on. Mm -hmm. And this one, this one I'm just going to... I'm going to do this sort of chef -y thing where you slash it like this. Yeah. Beautiful. That's great. Yeah? Yeah. Do now, it didn't it... Yeah. Once, once, it was a, quite a while ago, in fact, that uh, you actually had a fake raffle, but there wasn't a prize oh, in yeah. the end, wasn't there? Your imaginary prize? I, th I thought I got away with that. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that was when I was a kid. I, when I was a kid, I was always interested in kind of like um, tricks, as in kind of deceit and practical jokes, not just yeah. magic tricks. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't kind of like differentiate between what is basically magic and crime. <laughs> um, so when I was about eight years old, I used to, I once did this thing where um, I made some fake raffle tickets, like hand-drawn mm. raffle tickets, yeah. and I sold them for a prize that didn't really exist and stuck the, uh, stuck the winning number up in my grand's window. And, uh, <laughs> I thought you only made about 70 pence, but it, it paved the way for the career. That's a lot of fruit salads and blackjacks then, wouldn't it? <laughs> a a well, lot so of fruit salads and blackjacks. The story is, if ever you see handwritten yeah. raffle tickets, yeah. be very suspicious. Mm. You know? So it actually started that young for you then, because yeah, that, that's when you started really being yourself. quite creative. Yeah, well, I kind of, uh, I was always interested in kind of comedy and magic separately, mm. you know. I was never a big fan of magicians yeah. as such, but, um, yeah, it's when you're a kid, it's very hard to kind of do comedy without yeah. telling the same joke 20 times yeah. over. But when it's kind of uh, the magic, you can sit at home and practice the tricks. Sure. Sure, sure. Oh, so. 12 minutes to go, guys. And do you get better as you get older, with more experience? Do you be, or, or do you get a bit, little bit tighter? Some people, you know, when you've been in business a long time, you think, oh, I can't do that no more. I'm a bit more you get a bit more I've, fearful. No, I think uh, you, you just get used to it like anything. The more you go on stage, the more relaxed you are, basically, sure. you know. But uh, having said that, there are certain people that should give up at a certain point. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Mentioning no names. No, 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 we're not going to say anything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, um, this, this is for the potato crust. OK, now he needs another job down there. I do. I know, here. Look, yeah. put holes in those eggs, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust them. Yeah, oh, lovely. <laughs> He's going to come up with something really unusual. He's going to sell them to all the kids in the street. <laughs> now, Paul, tell us about this uh, risotto. When do you know the time name. to stop? Well, you taste it, Ensley, and if it's mm. cooked, you stop. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So you're talking um, about it just kind of cooking yeah, so it creates a little yeah. bit of that creaminess. You know, a little mm. dice of potato like that, it's only mm. going to take about 10 minutes to cook, yeah. you know. So right. about 10 minutes it'll take, but make sure you taste it. Lovely. Nice idea, though, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. OK, 11 minutes, guys. I'll come back and see you okay. again. Salmon cooking sure down there. Do huh? OK, then. Now, what about old that down here, then, Tone? What's right. Some... That is, is that... What type of sauce you got there? Well, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> we don't know either, though. <laughs> no, but yeah. when we order Chinese yeah. to be delivered at home, my wife mm. orders this crispy chili beef, which is disgusting. It tastes mm. like toffee with yeah. beef inside, yeah. right? So, as this guy eats such bad food, yeah. I'm trying to recreate that dish <laughs> for him, OK? Now, what about these walnuts? What are you going to do with these? I don't know. Nothing. Yeah, can, can you, can you do anything with, with these, then, uh, Alistair? Any ideas? I don't know why you bought them. Two walnuts. What have you been two walnuts for? Uh, yeah, I can show you uh, something with the walnuts. Yeah. Uh, He's I'm... always touching his pockets, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> I just need a couple of items. I'm just trying to find the. Where... Oh, it's down here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, have you got a wedding ring or a signet ring or Get anything out, I can hey, borrow? Don't trust him. <laughs> really? Oh, it's going to end up like in the walnut, isn't it, yeah. or something? All right. There's my wedding ring, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that. And if you just hold the walnuts for me. Okay. Now, what you must understand here, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the most popular close-up musicians in the country here. So, yeah. All that? Yeah. Both of them. them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And make sure they're not like magic walnuts or anything. There's nothing dodgy about them. The only way I can find that is to smash them or something like that, but they're fine, yeah. Okay, I'm going to place your ring onto a finger. Yeah. You've got to guess which finger has got your ring. Have a guess. Oh, the middle finger. All right, it's actually gone. Gone forever. However, you've been yeah. holding the walnuts for me. Yeah. Pass me the walnuts here. Yeah. And uh, Tony, have you got a? Um, Do you want some... a mallet or something? No, not I've a mallet. I'll crush your ring. Money, yeah. <laughs> walnut crackers or something? No, yeah. what, no, no. Walnut crackers over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, a nutcracker. Ah, oh, yeah. nutcracker. That's it. Mm. Okay. Nine minutes to go, guys. We've okay. got peppers and onions cooking down here. Carry on. Watch. Mm. Nothing between the hands. Yeah. Nothing up the sleeves. But can you hear this? Yeah, that's, that sounds like the same thing as it sounded before. <laughs> Inside the very centre, would you take it out yourself? <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> it is, it's my ring. Oh, you clever man. That's very funny. <laughs> so how did it all start for you then, Alistair? An eight-year-old down there, was it, was it a similar thing well, for you? Well, uh, weirdly, uh, I was probably about uh, 15, uh -huh. and uh, Paul used to present a children's show. And uh, that's when I, I <laughs> believe it or not. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, and I got. You actually started working with one of those things. Yeah, well, yeah. it was really, really weird because uh, he was doing the show. It was like a, a children's BBC show, I think, mm. a Tricky Business and Tricks and Tracks. Yeah. And I got really frustrated not knowing how the secrets were yeah. done. Eight minutes. And then I uh, got, got into the hobby and then just started buying loads of books and all that. Yeah. And then before I knew it, I was doing it for a living. And then before I knew it, I met him at a show. Fantastic. And then ever since then we've just been doing bits yeah. and bobs together. And, uh, just tell us briefly, how, how often do you actually practice? Is it, is it uh, every, like sportsmen have to kind of go out every day, two, three hours a day? Is it similar for a magician? It is, yeah. I mean, sometimes it depends. If you're just doing loads and loads of work anyway, that, mm. that kind of is Absolutely, yeah. But yeah. sometimes you just have to work at it anyway. Sure. Uh, initially, it takes about two years to get going. Wow, yeah. wow. But it's worth it now. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. cool, yeah. Magic <laughs> circle and all that. Now, tell me, why the scrambled egg? Don't ask me, I've lost it now. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though, it's not as good as my finger. <laughs> one, <is it>? no? <laughs> so, well, that's your kids thinking. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, boys. Right, what I'm going to do is, right. what I'm going to do is, I'm going to chop this up mm. and put it through my um, stir fry. Okay. We're, we're lacking a bit. You know, we got, oh, well, we got a bit of green over there, but we're lacking mm. a, a bit of vegetables here. So, we're, this is, this is in fact a crispy chili beef and mm. red pepper stir fry. Yeah. Okay, Do you want a little evolving. bit, maybe a handful of the rocket in there at the last minute just to give it a bit of colour? No, 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 thanks. I've no. got my spinach. Oh, you've got yeah. spinach, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll add that. that at the end. Yeah. Um, this, and what's cooking um, here, Chef? This right, is the rice. That's some rice. I've just put in there a bay leaf yeah. and a pit, half a clove of garlic yeah. and a little bit of turmeric just to colour it because we've got to get, we're going to stir fry that in as well. Mm, nice okay, smell. so all the flavours are going to come through. Lovely. Okay. Now, I want to tell you about this sauce because I was just joking. Yeah. What I put into this yeah. is um, some caster sugar in a pan, mm -hmm. hot pan, so the caster sugar started to melt. Mm -hmm. Then some white wine vinegar, okay. some tomato ketchup. And a bit of garlic. Okay, and that's not browning, ladies and gentlemen. When he says melting, it's just kind of melting. So that's it's kind right. Of, yeah, it just starts a bit to, glossy. Yeah, yeah. So when that heats up, yeah. I'm then going to stick that into there. And hopefully, all that sugar on it will mm. toffee, will turn into toffee, will caramelise. Lovely. And it'll go crispy. If it doesn't. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. All right then. <laughs> you can you, <laughs> you can make a steak diet. That's what you can gonna, do. Yeah, exactly. All right then. Yeah. Another job for Alistair there. Yeah, we're going to check this Ooh, up now. Fantastic. Walnuts Ooh. disappearing. Ooh, yeah, I don't know if you saw that trick, Paul. Amazing. Yeah, it's great, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. You know, the fact that it goes inside the walnut, does not matter, you know? He it's said just... he taught him that. Did you? <laughs> yeah, really? No, I'm just, just going to wind you up. He's just winding you up, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I've got a bit of sweat on going. I'll just try that. That's the chilli bit of it. That yes. Is, oh. That's the chilli. We just need to get a wee bit of butter in there. Yeah, is, is, is that quite, quite, got, got quite a kick to it? Oh, just a bit. Not initially, but about 30 seconds. Ooh. I was, I was sweating across there, across the cheeks, you know. Uh, wow. Do you, is... you want to see something weird using chilli for a trick? Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, you've just touched... Which finger did you use? Yeah, that? that little finger. OK, cool. I have mm. one of these cards, right? Yeah. No, just a regular deck of 73 cards. Yeah. Good. What we need to do is grab one of those. Hey, mate, what about the tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> be right yeah. with you. I'll grab okay. it, yeah. Show it to the camera there. There we are. 
Right, now stick it back in the pack. All right, then. It's like, it's like being a police horse, then. <laughs> right. Stick it back in there. There you okay. go. Now, we're going to try and find your card by the sense of taste. It's a bit okay. of a weird one, right? You right, touch then. the chilli. Five with, minutes to go, yeah. Was it a little yeah. finger? Yeah, with a right. little finger. I'm going to get a, a chilli taste. Yeah. OK, yeah, I've got okay. a taste. Right, watch this. You ready? Yeah. OK. Look. Well, move, 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 move. Got yeah. it. And spot a bit of chilli anywhere. Yeah, amazing! <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. It's like fantastic, isn't it? It really is good. All right, Paul, back to the food. Let's just turn it into a magician show. It's well done, Paul. <laughs> okay, no do you know how to make a vinaigrette? Mm. Uh, no. We'll get some balsamic vinegar and some extra virgin olive oil, and I'll teach you. There okay. you go. And balsamic vinegar yeah, in the little. Jug there. Now, now what okay. about this? That's a little rusty on the top there. With yeah, a few that's sesame right seeds. on the top of the salmon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right and on any, the top. Do you have to squeeze the the uh, starch out of the potato? Well, I didn't. I just added a little touch of corn flour, and I've got yeah. some sesame seeds through there. Okay. And I've, I've got, I had some extra left over, so I've made another little rush. Yeah. Yeah, there you nice go. That. So that's just ordinary grated potato, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of corn flour to kind of make it a little bit gluey, and that's put on top of the uh, salmon there. That remember Paul took the skin off yeah. and just fried off, so you get another kind of rusty on top of your fish. Really lovely way of doing it, presenting it. Beautiful. Right. What am I okay. doing with the vinaigrette? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, bit of that, bit of that. Mixing it, mixing it. Half and half. Yeah. Um, Not one quite. part, one part that, two, two parts that. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. There you go. There's your salt. Okay. There we are. Pepper down there. Okay. Um, what's Look at how much I'm making. <laughs> Just a. Uh... Oh, what's right, he going with that? I don't know, mate. You tell me. There we are. This is looking good, 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 so good. So pepper, good. anything else in? Okay. Uh, no, that's about it, actually. Three I, minutes I, to I go now, that. guys. Oh dear. Well, how can you impress him? Can't you impress him with a bit of magic? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sure he's going to come up with something really fantastic. And you don't well. forget your wild rocket here, Paul. Okay. okay. Get this one I want quite you. large. I want these in six. Mm. Okay. So, Paul, anything new coming up? Um, yeah, just uh, well, we just finished a tour, and I'm working mm. on a book for the next month or so. I've got a book yeah. called uh, "100 Ways to Win a Tenner," oh, which okay. is basically sort of bar bets and scams and way to mm. wind people up and lose a mates oh, but win okay. a drink, you know. So that's I know. Stuff, you can't so, yeah. And we've seen you sort of. I mean, you've done so many shows on Channel Four recently. We saw yeah. you come out in Prague. And that's like right. That. Yeah, it was kind of it was a, it was a sad story. I was out in Prague, and I got my pocket picked. Now, really? how, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> really yeah. And they really did take it. It, I mean, wasn't, yeah. it, wasn't it, was, a... it was a real pro job. It was an old couple yeah. actually did it. Yeah. So, but I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Really. Oh, but, fantastic. But actually, you, you, know, you know, we, yeah. we I touched your hand before. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you realise, but I'm not just a pickpocket myself. I'm, yeah. a, I'm an alternative pickpocket. Yeah. And I think you'll find this is, in fact, my watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was he long? Give him a round of applause. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right then. OK, a couple of minutes now. We've got asparagus get cooking there. Two minutes, guys. Think about you know this. What? Two minutes uh, to go. You've got to start thinking about getting your food ready and coming out. Okay. Oh, right now. Alistair, and you've got something new coming up on Channel 5 soon? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's called Monkey Magic, and uh, it's going to be me and a few other guys just doing sort of crazy... Some, and it's, it's a kind of magic. a cross, cross between sort of jackass and trigger happy magic TV and all that type of yeah, stuff. It yeah, it's, it's kind of you know a lot of it's all in camera. So yeah. I sort of sat in a restaurant and weird things start happening. Yeah. Or uh, I do my magic act in a phone box and uh, just film people's reactions as they walk past, all that sort of stuff. Fantastic. Uh, but it's not, it's not like a serious show, mm. it's just kind of a, a silly show, yeah. silly fun show. Well, that's all right, yeah. that's what it's all about. Oh, look at this. And uh, I, successful tone, you happy no. with that? No. No? No. It could have. It could be a bit crispier. Right then, so does that mean the fat should have been a little bit hotter, maybe? Yeah, maybe. OK, Something then, like one yeah, minute to go now. Right. Now, this is where the chefs really start to produce the goods, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, notice, Tony's I putting that in with a minute to go. It really does, it just wilts okay. down very, very okay. quickly. Uh, we hope. Uh, sure. That's all right, that's time. it. Get something to turn it with. Turn it, keep that going. 45 seconds now, let's what? keep going. We've got a deep fried egg coming along there now. Yeah, might be Fantastic, let's get a few of these out of the way for you. All right, guys, you've got yourself a glass of wine. Crispy fried egg, absolutely lovely. 30 seconds now. OK, take it out. 30 seconds, remember what the chefs had at the start of the show, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what they did. Remember, we've got a potato okay, just keep it. Um, How unusual is that? 20 seconds, audience, get ready to help me count down. 10, 9, 8, 7,
Wow. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A feast, I think, is in store. And to remind you, Paul had salmon, potatoes, spring onions, rocket, chilli, tomatoes and asparagus. Whilst Tony had beef, rice, spinach, onion, shiitake mushrooms and a red pepper. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, talk about going for a Chinese takeaway. I think he's got an absolute treat there. And uh, as for the food over here, equally delicious. And you're mm. about to try, aren't you, Paul? I am indeed, yeah. Yeah, go on, mate. You get stuck in. What, what about a name uh... there, Mr Rankin? What about, now What's you first? see it, now you don't. That's very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Oh, I, want to, I, want to, I want you to tell me how that tastes. But describe your, your food. Well, we what started out with, with the potato risotto. That's a base of spring onion, mm. then Ingo's potato, little vegetable stock, and then we finish with, with cream and a little bit of butter and some chives and some, some chopped up asparagus. Yeah. And then we've got the fried um, scallion tops on top of that mm -hmm. and, and the, the salmon done very simply. This one here, um, we've got the simple piece of salmon, the grated potato, a little bit of chive, a little bit of sesame seeds, a little touch of corn flour, on that mm -hmm. to make these sort of little roasty things. That's on, on a tomato butter, that's with the scallions, the chilies, um, a little bit of vegetable stock, fresh tomato, a little bit of butter, uh, and then a the little sort of tomato salsa there, blanched asparagus. This is just simple roast potatoes, deep fried egg, the roasty, the rocket, some balsamic vinaigrette, very simple. Fantastic. Yeah. That's the, all great. So I thought initially when I tried that chilli before, I thought it was going to be too strong. It was yeah. Because, you know, like salmon, I thought it was going to overpower it, but that's spot on. Just Fantastic. perfect. Yeah. And what about that uh, potato risotto? Was that that's really nice. I didn't really know what it was going to do with the potato, because, you know, you know I've kind of been, been yeah. from the north myself. I'm thinking, yeah. well, boiled or mashed. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's not good. really a risotto. But I you know. Can, you I know, know it's the idea, you yeah. know. But it oh, looks excellent. absolutely beautiful. The colours are great, aren't they? Yeah. Well done. Well done, Paul. Thank you, sir. Excellent. Very nice indeed. And over to you. Now, you were wondering whether you were going to get a treat, and I think you You've got one here, haven't you, eh? Trick or treat. Ah! All right, Tone. What are you. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, what are you going to call it? I'm going to call it when the stakes are high, why not just make a goldfish appear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get him down there. Oh, you can Where leave my little He's still goldfish. alive. I oh, know, he's having a little exactly. bit of a swim around. Now, tell us how you did this lovely food then, Tony. Uh, God, dear. Um, we started off with a stir fry, mm -hmm. got in the wok, got some um, onions and peppers, stir fry mm -hmm. off a little bit of garlic in um, a touch of olive oil and a little splash of sesame oil, got that frying away. We made an omelette, rolled it up, sliced mm -hmm. it up, put that in there as well. We threw some spinach in there. We cooked our rice with a little bit of bay leaf and uh, garlic, mm -hmm. a little bit of turmeric, salt in the water. Once mm -hmm. that was cooked, we got that into the stir fry as well. We made like a chilli sauce for the beef, mm -hmm. almost like a marinade, with a little bit of... Hurry um, up, there won't be any left of it. Right, chilies, <laughs> tomato ketchup, a little bit of vinegar, a yeah. um, bit of sesame in there as well, and we deep fried that to get it nice and crispy on top. The steak down, we just battered out the steak, fried it off, put some onions and the mushrooms into the pan, mm -hmm. deglazed it with some white wine and cream, and just put it on a bit of wilted spinach. Just absolutely perfect. It's just so... It looks so succulent. Mm. Tell us how that tastes then, Alistair. Well, the stir-fry was lovely. Uh, yeah. I've never thought to use a sort of an omelette at all in a stir-fry. Mm. And it's really, quite nice really the way really that nice. Tony rolled it up and, yeah. you know, again, introducing lovely new flavours into it. Because stir-fry can be quite plain, depends what you add to it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And did you caramelise that? Well, we, yeah, it could have done with a bit longer. I think the fat wasn't quite hot enough when it hit it, but it's yeah. eventually now. It's, it's really it's, lovely. It's fantastic. Yeah, it is beautiful. Well, lovely, and you're about to enjoy that lovely mm. steak line too. But what do our studio audience think, ladies and gentlemen? Will they go for the green peppers or the red tomatoes? Let's find out. Will you all please vote now? And it's quite close, actually. Ooh, yeah. But there are one or two more. Green oh, peppers! Oh, quite right, too. Hey, congratulations to you, Paul. I'm the time spending money there for you, mate. Fantastic. Thank Thank you very much. Good luck with the book and everything. Thank you. Thanks Thanks you enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Pick He's up a man, though. Yeah. Yeah. You're the man. All right, and well done, Paul. Very creative, very lovely. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much indeed. And, uh, well, you know, it doesn't matter, say. though, does it, eh? Oh, no, no. I mean, with a new series coming up on Five, I'm, I wish you luck with that. And, of oh, course, we've got a lovely hamper for you to take home, too. So thanks, thanks very so much, much for coming along. Don't and, uh, forget your goldfish. Yeah, don't yeah. forget. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure, Tony. Cheers, it thanks. really is. Come and join us over here, guys, because it's time to see what's in today's cricket bag. But in the meantime, let's say a very big thank you to Paul Zenon and Alistair right, Cook. Cook. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now what can our chefs do with this little lot? Aha, we've got some nice summer fruits there. We've got some lemon curd cheese, there we are. I've got some short crust pastry cases and uh, some mascarpone cheese. Well, boys, what are you going to do with this little lot? 
Um, well, we'd probably fill these with a little bit of uh, vanilla mascarpone and top them with some frozen berries and we'll mm. just sit and wait for them to defrost. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and then what we might do in the is... Put microwave, um, What we might do is make some pancakes and fill them with some lemon curd and some meringue. Lemon meringue pancakes. Oh, you can pipe, put the lemon curd in there, pipe the meringue on top. That's very visual, too. I right? was going to say that. All right, no, then, sorry. Leave that up to him. Oh, yeah. I'll leave that up to him. Well, OK, you know what's on offer for the red tomatoes. What about the green peppers, then? Uh... The green peppers would like to do some lemon curd uh, meringue tartlets and some lemon mousse, lemon mousse with hot berry sauce. Mm. But it's not as good as Tony's. Be quiet. Yeah, I know. They're always having a little dig at one another, but our audience will sort them out. Red or green, ladies and gentlemen, will you all please vote now? There we are. Let's have a little ha! bit of a look here. All right, then. Well, it looks like uh, having a closer inspection down the far end that red tomatoes prevail. Oh, Let's get going, Tony! <laughs> Your ten minutes cooking time starts now. Let's do it. OK, Paul, what can you, you please make me some meringue and can you make me some pancakes very, very okay. quickly? Pancakes on Tony, how do you make meringue? Right, it's egg whites and sugar. Egg whites and sugar. Yeah. Can you cope with that? I don't have a can of egg whites. I'm even not even going to answer you, mate. I'm not even going to go there. Uh. Ains, I've changed my mind. Is that allowed? Yeah, what? what I'm happened? not doing it anymore. I'm going home. Are you? <laughs> No, yeah. I'm going to do a hot fruit soup. A hot fruit soup? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Served with um, some vanilla mascarpone. Uh-huh. Tell it, oh, what are you doing with these, the vanilla? That's going Just into... getting the seeds out. Mm-hmm. Into some water there. And I'm getting a little bit of sugar, but I want the, 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 the kind of the sharpness of the, of the fruits, the berries as well. So I don't want to make it too sweet. Yeah. And uh, what else can I put in there? What else are you going to put in there? Lots of different ingredients? No. That's, I'm just making a little syrup, and I shall have a look at these berries. Let's have a look, and we'll whack some. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, they're lovely. Yeah, and we're just going to drop those in. OK. Oh, yeah. using the juice. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So everything's going in. Everything's going in. We, I'm going to save some of the berries. OK, how many pancakes do you want? A couple? Um, let's do two. OK. Let's do two. As really, as quickly as we can. Yeah, okay. I'll close that pan, that's all. Just waiting for this to heat up. Right. That's for the. Uh, All right then. Have we got? Have we got any of those? Legs? Okay. Now, when you do use berries, this is for anybody at home, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you defrost them properly. All right. Unless you're going to be making something like an ice cream or something like that, but give them a good old. Yeah. yeah now. So you lovely. Got what else we can do? Absolutely you, lovely. Yeah. Carry tell you on. What else we're going to do? Mm -hmm. We're going to do one of these yeah. ringy things. Okay. One of these ringy things, right? Yeah. And what? We're going to crush them. The um, what's this called? Pastry in a bowl. Yeah. Right. Just oh like yeah. That. Crush yeah. the pastry. Yeah. In a bowl like that. Oh, I see. That's the pastry base. Yeah. So you know, like a bit of a cheesecakey thing with the mm -hmm. mascarpone and the lemon curd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, matey. There Let's get we some are. Seeds in there. I'm rushing this a bit. Actually, could have rested a tad more, but. That's it. Perhaps there's a too much liquid there to make that some nice Some vanilla and seeds going in there. There you go. Rub that around. And then right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some honey in there, Ains. Yeah. Honey? Yes, darling. Yeah. Just to make it stick. And this is the base, a is it? A bit slow. Yeah. The base, yeah. So you've got vanilla and honey in there. Yeah, and the, and the crumbs. OK. Right. And then yeah. the, the, we'll put that straight into here. All right, let's get some more of these out. Like that, push that okay. down. Like that, get it. And then we'll take some of the mascarpone. Mm hmm. All right. Are you alright there, Paul? No, I'm. What's it going all over the place? Uh, Seven minutes to go. She could have happened to a nice You know it's ready when you turn up uh, over your head and it doesn't come out. Yeah, well, why don't you turn it over your head? <laughs> turn it over your head. I'm not the only musketeer in here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong, Tom, but it's not, it's not, it's not. That's nah, all right. Could be a little bit browner, couldn't it, eh? All right, Tom. Right. All right, now, what about these? We're going to fill these up with a bit of uh, lemon curd, aren't we? A bit of we? lemon curd and a bit of meringue on top. You yeah. can do that. Make me some lemon meringue, since it was your idea. There we are. Oh, that's broken. Idea. 
I thought it was yours. Yeah, what? Oh, no, no, nice and delicate. Here we are. You've got a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, nice and delicate. Yes. You can yeah. break them, Ains. No worry. There we are. How many am I going to sweeten? Two? I'm going to sweeten my mascarpone with some um, icing sugar. That one's broken, too, Ains. All right, then. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. There we, are. there we are. Okay. We need those magician boys back. Look. I know. <laughs> we'll just get another one. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll use something for them. Uh, right. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Where's that uh, greaseproof paper? It's here. Right. Just okay. Pancake number one. Yeah. Here Don't we are, use too Tony. much of that curd, please, Paul. How much okay. do you need? I need half of it. Well, you can have half. Well, sorry. No, don't worry. Mm. Just can't get the staff. <laughs> There's too much in there. There we go. Okay, right. And what's going on top of that tone? On top of? Of that. Oh, you've got lemon curd going. Oh. Lemon curd, mascarpone. But this is yeah. the thing. No. Well, yeah. I had a tray, and it's. He's got me. He's got my tray. Can you yeah. believe that? <laughs> what are you doing with my tray? My tray. Unbelievable. <laughs> my tray. This is my tray. Right. Now, what's going inside these pancakes? Right, then? lemon meringue. Right? Yeah. Look, okay. watch. Yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Lemon watching. curd, there's your lemon. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, then. Where's that dodgy meringue? Eh? It's here, is man. Is it dodgy? <laughs> dodgy, It yeah. is very dodgy. It's a poor what? excuse for meringue. Yeah. No, I need more! Come here! Come on! <laughs> I'll turn that one over. There, there but I'm not doing anything for you again. Pop that in there. Thank goodness yeah. for that. <laughs> And these going in the oven? Yeah. You haven't got, lemon, you haven't got um, lemon curd in that one, yeah? No, I know, it's here. All right, then. Right, just... Right. And then we roll those up like that. Yeah. And then if the meringue's any good, it'll puff up yeah. when it bakes and come up like that. All right, right? then. Only so if it's any good. Only Let's if it's any good. Let's put a bit of that on it to hold right. that. There's my soup going that in there. That will stick it. If you put a bit of that on there, that will just you know stick what? that in there. Just put all that in there. That's OK. Right, these are going in the oven. How long do you take? Ten minutes? Uh, about 15. <laughs> All right, let's right. hope the paper don't burn. Right, there we are, lovely. Me? Can you zest me um, two lemons, please? Two lemons? Zest and juice. We get them in this pan here. In the same bowl, and zest and it. juice? Yeah, anything. I'm going to make a syrup, Evans. Okay. A nice thick syrup to pour over my... Where's my sugar? To pour over my pancakes when they're ready. Have you got some caster sugar? OK. Hey, that's my caster sugar. Oh. Oh, listen to you lot. I'd imagine when you lot were two or three years old, you'd never sh shared your toys, did you? Yeah. Not with him. <laughs> <laughs> I share with Nick Can and, you... and you, Ainsley, but oh, not with Tony. Would you? Yeah. Would you share your dolly with me? <laughs> <laughs> action man, you mean? Action man, really. Yeah. Um, uh, are you an action man boy, were you? You I like all that you. stuff. Yeah. God, my Paul, son used to have about... a really big oh, favour? a whole box case Paul, one. mate. Yeah. Your friend. Tony. Can you do me a really big favour? Sure, Can you sure. just liquidise that for me? Three minutes to go, guys. Yeah. Let's get this, out, this done now. I'll put that back into the soup. Right, get okay. in here. Yeah. All right, and lovely. So this is going to be a nice that pan, shot. That pan's really hot, that's been there. Good idea. That's it, look at this, lovely. Oh, OK, yeah, now this is a lemony syrup, is yeah. it? Lemony syrup. OK, fantastic. All right, then. Now that's going on top of our pancakes, no doubt. Yeah. Right, let's clear up as we go Which, along how here. How are they? Um, yeah, they're in the oven. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, what about the other, uh, other one here? What have you got done, Paul? So I can put some mascarpone in here and a few of those lovely fruits just positioned on the top. Let's use this up. Right, no, 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 that's going to go into the middle of my soup. Is it? Yeah. Really? Um, all of it? Is all of it going in there? Well, you can have a little bit. There we are. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Paul? I don't know. Here we are. We're just going to... But it's not working. <laughs> when would you like me to put those tarts in the oven? <laughs> just trying to get the star. Those tarts are Thanks in the oven that. now, aren't they? I was just teasing them. Uh, oh, they're looking good. They're looking good, Paul. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Now, right. I need any, a blow torch left. I need a blowtorch on there, and that lifted off. OK. Wait, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> and your man. <laughs> one and a half minutes to go. Here, Paul, use this one here. Sorry. No, don't have a burn. Is it? Oh, what? Here. <laughs> How do you do it again? Oh! 
Stop it, you lot. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. No, just no, round no, the, the, the edge. We're oh, just oh, going to get that oh, off. Oh, it's all melted now. No. I need the leather meringue. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Oh, lovely. Quick, hold us there. Plate. Put it down there. That's the broken one. OK. Yeah, I can see that's the broken one. We're not going to tell anybody, though, are we? Thirty seconds to go. Let's slow down then. Bit, bit, bit that lovely saucy soup on there, Tone. Eh? Hey. Twenty seconds. Where's the ladle? Well done, well done to you two. Woo. All right, Tone. It's a bit knackering, wasn't it? What about a name? It can only be called, that's the right old meringue you got me in, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. We're talking about this meringue, which was a little bit soft. It was like a little bit soft. Cream. I suspect it was made with ice and sugar, not caster sugar, mm -hmm. and that's probably why it didn't come up. But I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I meant it to be those, that nice soft meringue. Oh, yeah. uh, I thought it Come was... and have a bit of a taste. Come on, sabotage. We made some pan... or you made some pancakes. Ooh, I like those. Very lovely pancakes. dish, this. Mm. Very simple. Lemon curd in the middle with yeah. some meringue. Bake it off in Ooh, the oven. Yeah. Three to four minutes, it comes up, just puffs up. Yeah. Serve it with a nice, very simple syrup made from just sugar, lemon juice and lemon zest. And I put a really pinch good, of turmeric yeah. in there just to give it some colour. Nice mm. and citrusy. This, we just crushed up um, the... Uh, Short crust pastry, mm -hmm. vanilla mascarpone, lemon curd on top, nothing else. Mm -hmm. That we won't talk about. <laughs> this, uh, lemon curd in the bottom, meringue yeah. tart in the tart, it's very simple. This we mm -hmm. made a syrup with vanilla and sugar, mm. and then we put our fruits in, took some of it out, poured it back in hot mm. with the chilled vanilla mascarpone in there. Mm. Very, very simple, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, all of these recipes are available on our website, including what the chef did earlier on. That's bbc.co.uk forward slash food. And uh, what can I say? We're going to have a little bit of a nibble now, and we'll welcome back Paul Zennon and Alistair Cook. And until next time here on Ready, Steady, Cook, have a lovely evening, everyone. Bye bye. See ya. More Ready, Steady, Cook tomorrow at the same time. Next on BBC Two, old Laugh a Minute is with us. But a week is leave.